Hello, scientists, and welcome to one of my favorite activities this unit, where you're going to get the chance to create your own trace fossils, and then you're going to try to match the trace fossils to the correct scenario. So what is a trace fossil? Let's review. It's a fossil of a footprint, trail, burrow, or other trace of an animal rather than the animal itself. So dinosaur bones could be considered a fossil, but a trace fossil is something the animal has left behind. So let's take a look at what your work is going to look like. You're going to be given one of five different scenes. And you're gonna to need to create this scene using footprints and a large piece of paper. So here's your first one. You might be asked to create the migratory path of a herd of Hatterosaurus. And it'll give you details about what you need to include in your scene. In this example, at least three sets of Hatterosaurus footprints. Each set should be a different color. And it's telling you they should go from one side of the paper to the other. So down below, you'll see this is what their footprint should look like. There's an example in the real world and then an example of the one you're going to work with. Your next page will look like this. You've got four different sets of their footprints. And if you remember from the last set of directions, each one should be a different color. So we're not going into this to be artist. So you can just quickly kind of sketch inside of those boxes a color. So maybe you'll do this one all in blue, yellow, red, purple. Then when you go to cut out your footprints, we're not gonna spend time being perfect and cutting out the exact line around the footprint. We're just going to cut the square out. Okay, so you're just gonna cut them in the squares that they are in, so it'll make it much quicker for you to cut them. Then your teacher should have given you a large piece of paper. You'll go back to your directions for the scenes and go ahead and glue them down in a way that makes sense. There's a few things that you should think about though. When we walk, and take a minute to get up and go ahead and walk around. When we walk, look down at your feet. Do they stay together or are they separate? When you crawl, and if you're at home, you can go ahead and give this a try too. Crawl around for a second. Look at the placement of your hands and your knees. Are they in line or are they staggered? Those are all things you wanna think about as you're creating your trace fossil. Another one to think about, if you've got the space, you can try walking and then run for a second. Think about where your feet land. Are they closer together when you're walking and are they further apart when you're running? All different things you wanna keep in mind as you create your trace fossil. There's a few other scenes that you might come across. This one you'll notice has four different dinosaurs. So you have four different sets of dinosaur footprints. You will be using all of the sets. This one is about a brachiosaurus and it has some very specific information in this scenario too. And you wanna think about that. If you were down crawling on all fours, what happens when you stand up? Here's another scene you might come across. And your last scene. And you can notice the difference in the size of these footprints as well is going to be important. Afterwards, once you've created your trace fossils, we're going to be taking pictures of them and putting them into a presentation so that we can do a gallery walk. So it will be your job to answer these questions in the future. So keep this in mind as you're creating yours. How many dinosaurs are represented in the scene? What kinds of dinosaurs are represented in the scene? What do you think was happening when the tracks were made? How do you know this was happening? And can you make a guess about what the dinosaurs in the scene ate? And these will be the different options that you will have to pick from. All right, researchers, I'm going to send you off now to go and create your own trace fossil which, with whatever scene it was your teacher gave you. I can't wait to see these when we have our gallery walk. Good luck.